Once you grasp this truth that I'm about to tell you, it'll set you free from religion, it'll set you free from parents and mobs and family and governments and police, everybody, it'll set you free. And it's simply this, you are divine. God has exploded in a crab nebulae explosion and he has come and manifested himself as billions of people. And you're one of you, and so am I. When I look at you, I see God. When you look at me, you see God. That's why God's name is I am. I am God. It doesn't mean that me, God, means I am. When you say I am God, you have to say what is God's name? I am. What? I am God. Oh my God, then all the people's Christians run around. Oh, I told you they think they're God. I don't think any of the other side. No, Jesus Christ said. The scripture says you are God, and the scripture cannot be broken. So he said it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like a master of Peace, 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 family. How you all doing? I hope all is well with you. My name is Keisha. I'm the owner of Ascendant Astrology, and I am your astrology coach. Today, I'm going to be doing a weekly reading, a weekly tarot reading for the lunar eclipse in Libra. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective, for the lunar eclipse? Libra, what messages do you have for the collective, for the lunar eclipse and Libra? Start with the astrology cards. We got the moon, the sixth house, Uranus. Oh, and Pisces. Interesting. Okay. Well, this is different. Um, I should check to see where the moon is, but I don't have my cell phone over here. But actually, it should be in Libra right about now. Um, all right, so the moon are our emotions, um, our private emotions and thoughts. Uh, the sixth house is health and service. So this could be work, co-workers, any kind of doctor's appointments, uh, any kind of service that needs to be done, pets. Um, and there's some kind of change, unexpected change or unexpected surprises in work when it comes to Uranus. Something that's going to liberate you or shake things up a little bit, maybe even getting you out of your comfort zone or being more innovative and thinking outside the box when it comes to work. This could even be um, getting out of habits, especially with the moon here. The moon can be our patterns and habits. Um, with the sixth house, this could be daily routines, health routines, work routines, and Uranus could be challenging us to switch things up a little bit or, or change some kind of unhealthy habits or patterns that we have. And with Pisces, this can be, um, we can be getting messages about this through our dreams. Um, this could even be sleep patterns that are changing or messed up. Um we are officially in Aries season as of the 19th, but we do still have a few planets in Pisces. So it looks like we're still wrapping up perhaps some old habits and patterns that we're trying to change, release, and let go of, especially for the Libra lunar eclipse. So it can be around Libra themes, wanting more healthy relationships. So that means you have to get rid of old uh, stagnant stuff patterns around unhealthy relationships, uh, clearing any karma and uh, the conscious and uh, subconscious ideas about that. Um, this is actually really kind of fucking dope. Mm. So clearing unconscious patterns through some kind of faith-based practice, um, listening to your intuition, being more connected to your intuition, being more creative, or just isolating, like um, doing the inner work, you know, asking the super deep questions, 
um, meditating on that and really asking yourself, you know, what do you want? And then you fill it with education, uh, knowledge, um, you know, getting uh, a reading, um, speaking to somebody, a professional about how to change habits and patterns, uh, depending on where this is. This could be a relationship coach, a health coach, uh, a counselor, um, or just changing your daily routines and putting those things into action. Maybe you've already gotten to the point where you've done the talking and it's now Uranus is like, okay, now put these things into action, make it a have a new habit, a new pattern. Um, hmm. Okay, y'all. What's going on? I see y'all. Okay. Let's let's see what I'm going on here. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Luna Eclipse? What messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Luna Eclipse? Hmm. This, yeah, deep contemplation, thinking, reflecting. Yep, releasing and letting go attachments. Maybe some people took some time off from work. Um, or you're just, you know, ignoring people, letting people like get the hint through your silence. Uh, reunion. Uh oh. Is this a reunion? Ooh, I heard with Uranus, this is a reunion with spirit. Y'all, hey, that people are done. Like, look, the only person I'm falling in love with is Jesus. Jesus is my husband. <laughs> oh shit that's funny okay so letting go of old reunions or somebody's coming back renewed or you're reviewing your re revisiting patterns and habits mm. when it comes to relationships i heard all relationships not just um Mm, I heard I'm I'm gonna doing things different this time. Okay, okay. Not just um romantic partners, but all relationships. Like I want to do things different this time. Okay. Ooh, synchronicities right over Pisces. So if you're not getting signs, symbols, and synchronicities about making these changes or it's just showing you that you already made these changes and you're on the right path, this is definitely through your sleep, your dreams that is giving you signs, symbols, and synchronicities that you're on the right path, you're doing the right thing. Rest and retreat is necessary. Sitting back, watching movies, uh, binge watching your favorite TV show, taking baths at night with some nice aromatherapy stuff. Um, with a glass of wine, um, taking walks before you go to sleep, doing things to help you sleep. Um, yeah. Okay. Spare, what messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? What messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? Hmm. Yep. Clean slate. I know that's the fuck, right? Clearing karma. Play pretend. Yeah. Y'all ignoring people. Leap of faith into this new direction, these new goals, these new patterns and habits. Mm. Yeah. Rejection. This has. I think, um, was it in the Libra eclipse that I talked about this? As a matter of fact, I have the notes, right? You motherfucking here, bitches. I think I did say something about like, um, for the Pluto and Aquarius trying the South Node, that Pisces kind of has that effect on us where things can magically fall away without even trying it, trying or doing things intentionally where 
you just like don't have the energy or you forgot or you're too busy or you're too tired um, to respond to people. And again, this might not be being done intentional. You can genuinely be being led by spirit, like spirits putting all this busyness in your life or making you super lethargic and tired and not having the energy, whether that's taking time off from work, um, not having time to go out and hang with friends, um, not having time for a relationship that you know you needed to get rid of like 18 years ago. <laughs> You know, it's something of that effect where something is falling away from your life almost, um, uh, you know, without even trying or again, magically to the point where uh, you might have a lot of people calling you, reaching out to you, grabbing for your energy, trying to get your attention, but you're just like, uh, like, I, I can't deal with this right now. Let me, you know, handle what, what is here the here and now um to the point where it's gonna these people are automatically gonna get the hat and, and move on and essentially that is what you want anyways but maybe perhaps in your human state it's like I don't have the strength. Um, I'm not strong enough. Um, I don't like telling people, no, you know, that Libra, lower um, expressions of Libra is people pleasing, um, always being there for others, even though it's not reciprocated and um, it's burnt you out. You have nothing left to give. Literally, you're empty. And by doing this, it's literally cleaning the junk out the room like this is a spring equinox bitch it's time to take the trash out and spirits doing it for you um hmm, i like it is uh spirit what messages do you have for the collective for the libra luna eclipse oh spirit what messages do you have for Lib for the collective for the libra luna eclipse Three is a crowd. Mm. Let me think of that. Yeah, healing. Okay, so yeah, you're healing from doing things for everybody else. Family matters. Wow. Letting go of... Ooh, just bringing in unconditional love, bitch. Redefining unconditional love. Ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, everything is here. So if you got friends, family, um, lovers, a, a lover, co-workers, just on your back, like, whoa, Jack, you're healing and you're loving on yourself unconditionally, unapologetically, not caring what anybody else has to say. They certainly didn't give a fuck about you and how you felt. You could be sick. Um, spirit could make you really sick and not have the energy. People still reaching out to you like you didn't tell them you were fucking sick. And you like, these motherfuckers, they don't get it. Like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, they just don't listen. Oh my God. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? For the Libra Lunar Eclipse, what messages do you have for the collective? For the Libra Lunar Eclipse? Mm. Lost. Damn, people feel lost without you. That's a goddamn shame. Daydreaming. You are ignoring the fuck out of somebody. <laughs> Communication. Yeah, they want to talk, but you're divinely protected. I don't know what else to say. This is like, spirit's like, leave my baby alone. Leave her alone. Him alone. <laughs> like, leave them alone. You do not have access. You cannot pass talk. Okay? You can't do it. 
All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Luna Eclipse? What messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Luna Eclipse? What messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Luna Eclipse? Okay, let's see. Wait, am I done? I'm sorry. <laughs> People's going to be petty. This is crazy, y'all. Is this? Somebody is like determined to disturb your peace. And they might not even realize they're doing that with the moon here. These people are oblivious to the fact that you got like real life shit to deal with. They're going to learn today. They're going to learn today yeah look at you oh my god this is so funny you guys <laughs> y'all like looking like bitch don't you see this cloak over me like what the fuck this is hilarious you guys like i know you see that magic form all around me you just gonna try to ignore that you just you just gonna ignore spirit that's what you're gonna do okay Go ahead, make yourself look like an ass. <laughs> oh my God, I can't do this. This is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I don't know who's re Oh my God. Hermit. <laughs> like you're going inward, eating your popcorn. This is funny. Knight of Pentacles. Y'all. Yeah, they want to give to you, but you're giving to yourself. Wow. Who's reading this? <laughs> so my five of wands card is, this is not an actual fight. It's more like, because it's Leo energy. So this is more like child's play, but people being petty, starting trouble, instigating, saying anything to get your attention. You know, hi, look at me. I'm over here. Like, you remember that time you bumped into the wall and looked like an ass? you like, and? I got knocked out before. It wasn't that bad. I woke up refreshed. They never read that. <laughs> like, oh my God, somebody is like going cuckoo birdies here. They want your attention. Yeah, this is conflict, difference of opinion, fighting, pettiness competing childish this could be a leo feel somebody feels ignored and they want your attention this is crazy you guys if this is a um <laughs> a relationship y'all gave this person everything you spoiled them and so they think you know that you've given to them is what you're supposed to do and now that you're not doing it you fucked them up Guys, you fucked them up. <laughs> Sorry, this is fucking hilarious to me. It's really, it's not. It's not. You got to do what you got to do, though. Okay, nine of wands. Yeah, you were like in this process. Even though there are obstacles, you're still like focused on. What, what what did I say this year's um saying when you standing on business? You know, you you might be tired and exhausted, but you like what I'm not finna do is give up on me right now. And you are going to accomplish whatever it is that's meant to be accomplished through you going inward, doing the work, ignoring other people, saying no, putting up boundaries. Um, yeah, you're not giving up this time. Look at how she's looking like niggas knocking at the door. You look like, bitch, didn't I tell you I was busy? Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, why are you here? Like, I did not ask you to show up. Look at hermit mode. This is all. Oh my God, this whole read it is about you blocking shit. The hermit. Yeah. Um, This could be a Virgo. 
Yeah, you're consulting someone. I did say that. Um, this could be a Virgo looking within, self-reflection, isolating, retreating, investigating, contemplating. This is an ascension. You're you're breaking out of this old karmic debt. Your debt has been paid off. Mm hmm. You're about to come out renewed and restored. Mm. 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 This is beautiful, guys. Uh, Nine of Pentacles. This could be another Earth sign. All Virgo specifically, but any Earth sign. Um, yeah, you work too much. You work really hard, very methodical, you very loving nature. Oh, you love nature, love going out, love being in nature. But right now you just don't have anything to give, or this is who you were dealing with. Somebody who was stubborn, non-emotional, always focused on work and not focused on you. Um, but was okay with taken from you and you're tired. You just don't, you, you're giving all that what you have gave to others, to yourself. It's called for. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? <clears throat> for the Libra Luna Eclipse, what messages do you have for the collective? For the Libra Luna Eclipse. What messages do you have for the collective? For the Libra Luna Eclipse. What messages do you have for the collective? For the Libra Luna Eclipse. Ooh, y'all got the high priestess. Like you already knew this was going to happen. Maybe it was eventually, but like I said, you got the sun. Um, you just needed, you needed, you needed spirit to help you. You did. You might have really, 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 really loved this person. You might have cared about them a lot. Thought that there could be something special. And it just wasn't given. It just wasn't, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, yeah, six of cups, judgment. Yeah, this is over. No more, I heard no more Mr. Nice Guy. And I don't mean that like saying you let people change you. That is not the same thing. You guys understand what I'm saying? You stay loving and supportive. Don't let anybody change you. But I mean, as far as the people that you know intuitively that do not deserve it, it's no more for them. You got, you're going to have boundaries for people like this. Okay? The high priestess is a witch. She's very intuitive. It's like the moon card, right over the moon card. That's double intuition right there. And you trust your intuition. This is divine feminine energy. This could be a Pisces or a Cancer. You got a lot of wisdom from whatever this is that you've been through. Very patient and calm and intimate. Yeah, you gave. You gave your whole heart. And people just stood there like they had, they had no clue they were dealing with a high priestess. That's a damn shame. The sun, you're going to be happy about whatever this outcome is. You're going to be very, very proud of yourself. Yeah, so this is bringing in massive, massive, massive success for you. Fulfillment. Positive. Um, somebody who's got, um, who's very conscious. This is going to be very liberating, freeing. It's going to bring in clarity, help you tap into your inner child. And you can express your truth now. And again, this isn't about being ignorant, rude, or disrespectful. If you are in that energy, this is not your reading. Because you don't have to do all that, especially as a high priestess. Just stay in this mode of boundaries, protection, 
keep that shield over you. That's what you call a cosmic no. You know, when you know how to, you know, use your power. You know what I mean? This is somebody who says no by focusing on themselves. <laughs> it's just that simple. <laughs> you know, very confident and good health and good health. Okay, six of cups. Yeah, somebody is, they miss you. I don't get that this is just one person. I get this is a lot of people who miss you. Like they fucked around and found out. They're thinking about all the happy memories. This could be Aries. It is Aries season. You know, all the childhood memories that you have with other people from just being lighthearted and supportive. You were a gift and people didn't treat you as such. They just didn't respect you. They had no clue. Yeah, look at all these people in here. This is a judgment card. Death. You see that? Look at the coffins. And this is spirit putting this all to an end. It's a no-go. They have no more access to you. You are completely unbothered. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you. this is a wake-up call, a rebirth, reflection. This could be Pluto, a change, a transformation, um, a Scorpio. You're moving into a higher level of consciousness. I heard broke through the veil. And you're going to talk about your story, share your story. And, um, oh, if y'all have any legal issues... Uh, case is closed, all in favor of the victim. <laughs> You're going to get a, a renewal for self-love and new love. Mm. You're going to inspire others through what you've been through. Mm-mm. <laughs> Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective, for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? What messages do you have for the collective, for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? I heard, I heard, I heard, I learned a very valuable lesson. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective, for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? What messages do you have for the collective, for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you looking back on everything that you did, how far it's gotten you. I heard I'm proud of myself. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Good Lord, have mercy. Page of Swords. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Seven of Pentacles again. This could be an Earth sign. Yeah, you're proud of yourself. You've done a oh. A lot of work here. There are a lot of people out there really trying to heal and get past the past or get through the past. Very productive. Evaluating, reflecting. Wow. You guys should be very proud of yourself. You deserve this. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups, this could be a water sign. Yeah, somebody's coming in. You're going to, this is going to bring in some kind of renewal of love. This could be work or promotion that people know damn well it should have been yours anyways. They might have been trying to block you. Mm -hmm. Somebody didn't want to see you happy. Somebody did not want to see you happy, but you're getting it anyways. Even if you go to a new job, it's going to be more pay, better environment, better coworkers. You're getting this blessing regardless. Knight of Wands. 
And it's coming in fast, too. Mm -hmm. This could be a Sagittarius, very fiery, passionate, fearless. Yeah, this could have been somebody who, if this was a relationship, somebody who just kind of wanted you as a trophy to brag. They might have even had a bad temper or was just very lustful, a player. Hmm. It was nothing but fun and games for this person. But it don't matter. They got what they wanted. You're moving on. The job got what they wanted. You probably, they might even get fired. <laughs> Whoever this was playing games. Page of Swords. This could be an ear sign. Yeah, you're very alert. <clears throat> intelligent. Somebody here is spying. <laughs> Ah, these people are looking for you. You love to learn. Very curious. Honest and direct. This could be a Gemini. Or you got Gemini somewhere heavily in your chart. But again, some people was talking about you behind your back. You know? Spying. Very mean and sensitive and lacked empathy. They didn't care. And it don't matter. The spirit's like block, block, block. Okay. One more poll, guys. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? What messages do you have for the collectors for the Libra Lunar Eclipse? Two of Cups. I knew it was going to be a fucking relationship. We almost made it without it. Ooh, a tower. Well, you're going to meet your match. Can't argue with that. Yeah, Two of Cups. I heard. Um, you're looking for people who are willing to give equally, equal exchange, mutual love and emotions on the same page, deep emotions, trust, physical exchange. This could be a cancer. Yeah, you're not doing the fuckery no more. And then you got big daddy energy. That's Leo. Somebody who's going to protect you, support you. They're a boss, forward thinker an authority, somebody who might be in the public eye or center of attention, very popular. And this could also be you, but that's who you're attracting. People who um, can help you and support you and actually do something for you the way you did for everybody else. That's what's coming in. And then you have a towel. Yeah, this is the Uranus energy, a sudden change. An awakening. This is a Mars card. Life-changing events. Realizing something was built on a lie. You know? A loss. A tragedy. If somebody lost somebody, I do uh, my condolences to you. A letting go of trauma. This could be a Scorpio or an Aries. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, something had to have happened for um, this change to come in. I just feel that's the message that comes up the strongest here is that it's like enough is enough. And maybe you're just, you know, you're really too sweet. You're just too kind. And so spirit stepped in for you and handled it. It's like, okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> and the emperor, 
This is somebody who's solid. Again, a protector. Yeah, you're looking for somebody who's really going to... Um, don't laugh at me, you guys. This is so random. But you know I like my little um, uh, Marvel shows. This isn't Marvel, but it's... Per what is it? Um, Perseus, the show. I'm really talking about the movies, but really... Um, made me think of this right now is um the mother in the movie i don't know if you remember was with this guy who was a fucking dick he was an ass hole but in the movie if you remember there was like he needed to be there because his stench was protecting both her and prometheus from um Am I saying his name right? I'm probably completely butchering his name. Perseus. Percy. Percy. Percy Jackson. Um, they were protecting him from um the people, you know, the goons and whatever trying to get them. They were being protected from his smell. This is what I'm picking up. You're trying to attract somebody who's going to help protect you from all these goons and fools out here who don't have no goddamn respect for you. I know that was random. Don't judge me, okay? This is where my mind goes. <laughs> you're, you're looking for protection, you know? Somebody who's really going to look out for you and your needs. And that doesn't mean that you're not going to give it back. You are the, the high priestess. You were built to give to a man, to give to others. You have insight and intuition and wisdom to give. That is your purpose in life. But, you know, sometimes that can attract people who are a little crazy. But you're looking for people who can provide a service. It's an equal give and take. You give something, they give something back. Right. So you're looking for a provider, a protector, a leader, um, a divine masculine. Again, Mars and Aries energy. We are in Aries season. We are heavily activated. <laughs> and with Mars being in Pisces right now, it actually just went into Pisces the same the same day. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure it was the same day we entered into Aries season. And Pisces is all about soul contracts that are very um, spiritually connected, a spiritual connection, a soul connection, a divine connection. That's what you're looking for. Your soul tribe, real warriors who come in and actually make changes or actually take your advice. Without that reciprocation, and helping people who don't want to be helped. It's almost like it runs on deaf ears. It sucks the life out of you. You know, this could be a father figure. Maybe he has kids, whomever this is, or people you meet have kids. It doesn't really have to be just a man. This could be friends, girlfriends with kids, somebody, you know, people who understand sometimes you you can't go out and freaking talk all the time. Um uh, you know, somebody with status and power. Somebody who has structure and knowledge. They could be somebody in the legal system. Again, if y'all are having legal problems, it's a wrap. But I'm getting karmic debt being paid off. That's what I'm really getting. Your karmic debt has been paid it was something that you had to go through, unfortunately. That's how most high priestesses and people in high places, unfortunately, you go through a lot of bullshit because you're going to have to be able to relate to a lot of people so that you can help heal them. Because you've been through it, you know what to do. You know how to help people. It's not just um, book smarts. It's I walked a mile in your shoes. It took me this amount of time to heal from that. I completely understand where you're coming from. You can meet them halfway. It's unfortunate. Nobody really fucking likes it, but that's how it goes. You know? 
It's all for the greater good. <laughs> you just got to go through bullshit, you know? And then you got to learn how to block bullshit. <laughs> and that might take some time. But it's all with great potential to help you be the greatest mentor, spiritualist, teacher, coach you could be, right? So this was actually really dope, guys. I hope you found this information helpful. Peace.